Hello, and welcome back to The Sim. In this one, we're jumping in with Spad.next and 0.9.22 release. So we want to look at some of the cool things that's come for the Stream Deck. Now, don't forget, you can find all the video guides along here. So a lot easier to find things by uh, basically categories. So this one's going to end up showing up here inside of the Stream Deck eventually once finished. Also, don't forget, there is the release notes. There's so much new stuff that's constantly being released, and this is where you will get information about all of it. Also great stuff to look at if you haven't used the sim in a while. So we're going to head over to our stream deck, and here we've got a couple of the examples. Biggest things has been the inclusion of the new right-click menu. And so for this video, this is what we're going to be talking about. This aids us in making it faster to speed up our control. Basically, instead of having to constantly come over here to a drop down or remember things, it does give us some quicker functionality. So first off, you'll see there is the edit button, which also gives us a control E. So as you know, you could come here and you could hit edit the event and it'll bring up the event and then you click on it and you could get into editing it or hovering over an event, you can double click on it and it also brings you to that editing page. So what's really cool about the control E is if we click on an event and we hit control E or right click and edit, it's gonna open us further in to where the event and data action are. So great example, we're gonna delete this item, right? So you can see here, we don't have the delete button we still have to come over here to delete an event but a great example is how we want to take something like button pressed so we're going to want to set the value of one for this LVAR to acknowledge the caution however we do need the zero for the release so button press button released we get the one and the zero to create the same functionality that's great so what we can do is we could right click here we could copy this event right which is also a control c you can get all events current page and even complete device from this menu without having to go all the way over to the right hand side and that little drop down to get to the similar similar type of things so here we're going to right click we're going to copy so we could also use control c and again this is nice as you're trying to learn all of the shortcuts uh, you can still quickly interact with it so now we want to paste it so we'd hit here and hit control v or like we were saying we could have gone control c control v and now we've got the button pressed so this is where we'd want to edit this to change it to a zero so now we could hit that edit with the control e or hovering on it hit control e and it takes us into this value where we can hit zero enter enter and it's a lot quicker to edit that event than if we had to click on it click on it again click here to change it click ok click ok so obviously we're speeding things up and making things a little bit easier also when you right click you'll see you have the paste and you have a disable ability so disable is kind of cool you could have something that you don't want to trigger so we can come in and we could disable this event we're going to get a little icon over here to the left that shows us that it is currently disabled. And if we save it like this, it's going to tell us the profile has some temporarily disabled events. So these are going to automatically get re-enabled the next time the profile loads. So we can also right click and we can re-enable that event. Next up in the drop down, you're going to see the execute and the execute no conditions. How do these work? So here for this image button, we can see that there is a condition. If we right click on it and we hit execute, well, nothing's going to happen even though the count goes up because the execution of the event takes place after checking the condition. So this is great. You can run single events and see if they validate. Or where I know that this won't do because we're not connected to the simulator at this moment in time, but I want to see that this will trigger, I can right click and I can execute with no conditions. So there we go. We see that the light comes on for the master caution. Now, clicking here and using that execute, it is going to evaluate the condition. And of course, it's going to come back as zero and therefore it will change it back to the off state. Very cool.
Coming down the list, you will see move up and move down. So you can also move the events around. Uh, you can do that also using control up and control down. Finally, we have the trigger type. So now also very helpful. Don't have to come here, go over to here, come to the drop down to change the trigger type. You can simply right click here, come to trigger type. And now we want to hit set this to the release, right? Because we want the button released. So there we go. We got pressed. We've got released and we have our functionality. So that's pretty cool. Gives us a lot of functionality all inside of this right click menu. And of course, as you're going, you'll learn those shortcuts and that's going to make you even faster when building your profiles and devices. We're gonna cut it here and we'll do the next video talking about one of my other new favorite features, which is auto off for the layer mode. So we'll talk about that in the next one. If you made it this far, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't and come along with us next time. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.